guys so today I'm going to show you how to make some really cute cozy lounging lounging shorts you need to make sure you have a 15 millimeter crochet hook I used to burn out baby blanket yarn um, you also need some scissors you'll need a stitch marker if you have one um, it makes it easier to measure everything you'll need a yarn needle and it's easier to combine the shorts together with a yarn needle and let's go ahead and get started so you'll start yourself by making a you start the project by making yourself a slip knot and you just follow along on the screen there okay and then go ahead and put the slip knot on your crochet hook I'm using a 15 millimeter crochet hook so it's going to make it really chunky you could always use a smaller crochet hook if you want to or even different yarn so go ahead and do a um, you're going to make a chain now the chain this project here that I'm making is for a size large extra large so if you want to um, vary up this in in any way I'll put the written instructions on my blog however you just measure your waist and then you would make your foundation chain the length of whatever your waist is so if your waist is 36 inches then you would make the foundation chain 36 inches okay so once you this is just a smaller sample size but once you get to the end you're going to go ahead and work back down the row and all you're really doing at this point is you're just creating yourself a rectangle shape so that we can create the short so go ahead and do a single crochet stitch all the way down the row when you get to the end you'll chain one and then you'll turn your work and you'll just keep going and your width of course that is your waist what we measured earlier and then the length I did 12 rows of this but that's just really going to depend on where your waist is over almost down to whatever wherever your butt cheek is like the lower part of your butt so if you were going to do like high waisted then you would come down and then that would be it if you're going to do hats you're going to add legs to it then you would keep going but I did 12 rows And like I said earlier, this project is completely customized. You can change it up to, you know, you can change the yarn, you can change the hook size, you can change the measurements, all of that. And I mean, don't let the holes fool you. I wear mine around the house, but they're still kind of warm and fuzzy and cozy. So you just, you know, it's up to you how you want to wear it use like a different type of yarn and they could be like beach cover-ups for over your bikini bottoms or your bathing suit bottoms so you can wear them any kind of way and you can wear them out if you want to just maybe I would suggest maybe putting some flesh color undergarments on and then you can wear them out because they're really cute um, just the way they create makeup or whatever so here I am I'm just go ahead and doing my row my third row and this is just a smaller portion I I lost the original footage where I showed you how to do it with the color that's on the table there so I just used the yellow yarn which is what I used to kind of line my project but um, here it is with the regular yarn so don't get confused I switched it up just a bit because I had lost the original footage where I started the project but the same process is the same you're just going to do single crochet stitches um, to the length of your or to the width of your um, waist around so remember I did 12 rows to create my extra large large shorts but then of course I added a, a border that was two rows so it was a total of you know 16 I did a border of two at the bottom and a border of two at the top so anyway, this is what it's starting to look like here before you fold it over um, and I will try to put as much information in my blog as to, like tips and tricks on how to get this to work and see that is pretty much what your shorts are going to look like before we put the crotch in and before we add a little bit of the you know the the embellishments so what I'm doing now is I'm going to go ahead and finish off this project so I'm measuring um, to see how much yarn I need and this is a tip moment when you leave your tail if you leave a long enough tail that tail could you'll sew you're going to sew up your project but then you could also use that to make your crotch area so i made my tail really long so that way i didn't have to add any more yarn to make the crotch and i'll show you what i'm talking about so go ahead and um, get your yarn needle and you're just going to sew the um the beginning and the in the end together if that makes sense when you fold it over you're going to you're going to sew up that side and I sewed it because I found it to be a lot easier but if you want to you can also use your crochet hook and just do a single crochet stitch I'm going to slip stitch up the side 
So I go up with the needle and then I come back down so that it's really secure. And this area right here, you can either, when you create your project, you can either make that the, like the back part, like if you're looking at a pair of shorts, that could be where your butt area is, like the crack, I guess, or you can put it on the side. So it's up to you as to where you want to line up this area here. I use it as the um, back part of my shorts. So it's almost like a natural butt seam, I guess. So that's what it looks like once I finish sewing up the sides. Okay, and so once you get your shorts folded in half, you'll just go ahead and try to find the center. And the center should be where your seam area is for your butt, but just go ahead and make sure that that's even and because you want the crotch to fall right in the middle of your shorts. So you have equal sides for your thigh. Okay, now the stitch marker, you see where I put it? That basically will see, you're gonna put it right in the middle. So pretty much where I sew down, that's where I'm gonna center up my, that's where my crotch is gonna be. Now the crotch area is gonna be the most, um, I'm gonna say difficult, but the part where you just kinda have to pay attention just a little bit, okay? So um, remember I left that tail, so I have enough yarn to make the crotch, and my crotch area is not gonna be very long. I'm gonna tell you, Okay, so you have your stitch marker, right? You're, I'm gonna make my crotch on both sides of the stitch marker so that it's kind of right dead smack in the middle of my short. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a chain of one and then I'm gonna turn my work so that I'm on the other side of the stitch marker, if that makes sense, because I want it to be centered. So the crotch area is really narrow. I just did a chain of two and I did a total of four going four rows going up. So I would do I would do my chain, chain one, turn my work, do a stitch, chain one, turn my work, if that makes sense. So it's only two little stitches. Okay, so basically my crotch area is two stitches across. It's very small, it's not large at all. However, let me, this is another area for tip if you have larger, um, if your butt area is larger, or your thighs are thicker, then you'll want your crotch area to be longer because that is what's gonna give your your thighs the area, you know, you're creating the area for your thighs with this crotch strip, okay? So I did mine um, four, four rows. So it's two stitches wide, four rows of two stitches. You see, so it's not very big. But I don't have really, really, really big thighs, um, so that's that's where it becomes customizable. So once you've done that, just use the same yarn and attach it to the other side. So this crotch area is gonna it's kind of small, it's narrow, but we're gonna work it around and around so it's gonna grow a little bit. If you're gonna do high waisted or booty shorts, then make your crotch area a little bit larger, maybe like four or six, just so that you'll have an area for your for your area to be covered up. <laughs> if you want high-waisted booty shorts, then you can stop here because then your cheeks are gonna hang out, it's gonna have that look of whatever you're going for, you're done. However, I wear these around my house and I wasn't looking for anything high-waisted and um, so I'm gonna create a little bit of a leg. So let me show you how to create your leg. You're going to insert your crochet hook um, as close to the crotch as you possibly can. Now we're using a really big crochet hook, so you're gonna have to work it a little bit um, just because it's just the head of the crochet hook is really big. So I go ahead and attach my yarn, I just tie a little knot, and I'm gonna go ahead and do myself a single crochet stitch. Okay. Then I'm just gonna go all the way around the bottom portion of the shorts. So you actually have two areas now. You have a right leg and a left leg. So they're very defined because we have the crotch area sewn together. So you're just going to go all the way around one leg of the shorts. So you'll, and I'll show you better on the um, second leg, but all I'm doing is just going around in a circle. And I did this four times with this color yarn and then I did it two more times with a yellow with the yellow color yarn because I wanted it to be a little bit longer down my thigh so and all we're doing here is we're just creating the the leg of the short so if you were going to make like 
for instance, pants or something, if you wanted these to be longer, you would just make your leg, this portion, you would just keep going. You would just keep going. And then as you got like to your knee area, you would start to decrease a little bit. And then that would carry you down to a pair of pants. So if you wanted to make some lounging pants, which might actually be something fun to make for the winter, you could do that. So you see here, this is four rows of single crochet stitches um, on one leg. And then I will, I won't show it on camera, but I'll go around two more times with the yellow yarn to kind of give it a little bit of a pop of color and just to add a little bit more length. But you see here, there's your crotch area. And you're basically going to be sewing around the crotch area. Do you see what I'm saying? So when you get to the crotch area, that's where it gets a little bit more um, trickier just because you're you remember you only made that little small four row you know four rows to create that crotch but you still have to work around it otherwise you have a big gap so i'll show you again i hope it was kind of clear i don't know looking back on it i don't know if it was as clear as i wanted it to be but um you're basically just going to do the same thing you'll attach the yarn as close to the crotch as you can and then you'll do a single crochet stitch all the way back around now I'm speeding through this part but I'm gonna slow down when I get to the crotch area just so you can kind of see what I was talking about earlier okay so just keep on going and like I said earlier you can use any size hook that you want I just used a I used a bigger hook so I could get it create it quicker so I could show you all but also um, these are just lounging shorts okay so here real quickly this is the corner we've gone all the way around you see we're just gonna get as close to the crotch as we can you see there's the the um, stitch marker we're just gonna go right into the um, crotch area remember you did four rows so you should have four stitches along your crotch okay before you get to the other side and the, the, the goal here is just to just keep all your stitches as close as you can okay so now I've gotten all the way back around again and I'm gonna just go again I'm gonna go around again and again and again until I get my four rows of single crochet stitches around my leg okay so that's all I wanted to show you just so you could kind of see when you get to the crotch area you're just gonna do just keep going around like you've been doing now, if you wanted to use a stitch marker, you could at this point to kind of mark your rows. I'm only doing four rows. I didn't find that a stitch marker was necessary, but you could use Okay. That's what it should be looking like there. When you're done, you've come all the way around. The number of times you want to come around, you're going to just do a, um, sorry, let's see what I'm doing here. Just do a slip stitch. That's what I'm doing. Do a slip stitch and then you're going to cut your yarn and then just pull through and that's how you finish off your project so once you get to the you've gone around as many times as you're going to go around you'll just do a slip stitch and then you'll finish off your work and i tried to finish off my work in the crotch area so it's not it's seamless this is what it looks like with the border added i added uh, two rows of yellow and then i did two rows of yellow at the top and there is an elastic band i put on there if you have a larger butt area you can add a little bit of an elastic just tie it on and it will kind of cinch the back together but really the drawstring that i added does the same thing so that was just showing you another option if you didn't want to do a draw drawstring you could just put an elastic band back there and the drawstring, I just did a chain stitch. I'll put a link in the video on how to do a, ch a chain stitch if you don't know how to do that. But this is what it looks like on. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the bell notification. You won't know if I make a video if you don't do the notification. So anyway, this is what it looks like. You can wear it around the house or you can pair it with, you know, a little shirt, give it as a gift, however you want to. <laughs> um, thanks again for watching you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.